Hello, I am Ineas from ToloridCinematics.com and in the next few tutorials I will be teaching you on how to work with Adobe Premiere Pro. So I will be teaching you the correct ways of using it and it will be easy enough to understand so you can get started on editing your videos. So um, I have chosen for this software with a reason. Um, I know there are a lot of other editing softwares out there so, uh, like Sony Vegas for uh, the Windows users and for the Mac user there is uh, Final Cut Pro and I have used um, both of these softwares and I do like them they are pretty good uh, if you prefer them you can just go for those press uh, yeah those kind of softwares um, but in my opinion Final Cut and the Premiere Pro package is a lot better uh, and it's in my opinion also the best one out there because it has a uh, it has a lot more pros um, than cons uh, in my opinion so um, for example, Premiere Pro works on a Windows and on a Mac, so if you're working for a company that has a different operating system than you, you can just uh, open their projects or the other way around. And for the Sony Vegas or Final Cut Pro users, their only limit and uh, their limitation is actually the operating system, what it's made for. So um, a Mac user that is using Final Cut Pro won't be able to send his project to somebody with Sony Vegas on a uh, on a Windows computer. Well, he is able to, but with a lot of uh, complicated plugins and XML. So I'd rather not get into that. Uh, like another thing that I do like about Premiere Pro is the integrated plugin for the stabilization. So if you have a shaky footage, uh, you can just stabilize that really easy by just clicking a button in uh, Premiere Pro. So you do need um, external pr uh, plugins for those and the other kind of softwares. And the most important thing that I've chosen uh, Premiere Pro for is um, it's integrated in the Adobe package and most of the people in this business do need the Adobe Master Collection anyway so why don't you use Premiere Pro um, so you don't have to waste another kind of 600 bucks on another different uh, editing software so um, that's why I've chosen Premiere Pro as well um, I also do a lot of visual effects and then you have to render out each time your videos and send them into After Effects, your visual effects and re-render them and then uh, Im import them in the other kind of software. But in Premiere Pro you can just right click on the clip you want to do the visual effects on and then just open it with After Effects and do your visual effects and it will be automatically updated in Premiere Pro. So um, the workflow is a lot better in my opinion but of course that's only my opinion and that's not the entire world's opinion so um, if you do prefer Sony Vegas or Final Cut Pro you can go with those kind of software. I've used them in the, in the, in the past and I really do like them and um, I do like for example for Sony Vegas on how you can manipulate the time it's a lot easier than in Premiere Pro but it's also possible in Premiere Pro and after a few uh, times of practice you will be uh, going with that as well. The color correction in Sony Vegas uh, is also a little easier, but um, I do prefer working with the curves in Premiere Pro, um, but that as well uh, takes some time to learn. So um, those are a few uh, cons, but I do, um, yeah, I do learn them. Uh, I've learned them in the past, and now it's easier to work with anyway. So uh, I do prefer uh, Premiere a lot, uh, a lot more than the other kind of software. So uh, let's get started on these tutorial series and I hope you enjoy them. Um, well, this was the introduction to the series courses and then yeah, goodbye.